are in this uh, DAC and I.O. modules in LabVIEW um, series. Uh, in this tutorial I will cover digital out. So uh, on the DAC device you have uh, analog, uh, an analog input pins and you have analog output pins here on the left side and on the right side you have digital pins and each of those digital pins can be either set to be a digital output pin or a digital input pin. So here you see a typical hardware setup uh, which you can use in order to test the digital output uh, pins on your uh, DAC device or your I.O. module. So basically uh, ju you just wire from one of the um, digital output pins to uh, the plus uh, plus uh, connector on the multimeter and then you use the ground pin and then wire this one to the ground uh, connector on your uh, multimeter and then when you create a program in uh, LabVIEW and then specify uh, either true or false then you should be able to see either zero, volt zero voltage means it's a false or five voltage mean meaning it's a true. So um, digital um, signals is either true or false um, when they are false they are zero voltage when they are true they are five voltage so here you see a basic example in the lab view that we are going to create uh, step by step so basically i've created a switch here which you can set to either be true or false and then you just wire that, that one directly to the duck assistant and then on your multimeter, if you have connected a multimeter to that specific uh, channel, you should see either a zero voltage, meaning you have set this to false, or five voltage, meaning you have set this to true. So let's go to LabVIEW and create this basic example. So now we are in uh, LabVIEW. Here I have my front panel, my graphical user interface, and my block di diagram where I create the code. So let's start with the front panel. I just go to Boolean. Here are different Boolean uh, controls that you can use. Uh, in this example, I just use this horizontal, horizontal slide, which looks like this. I can make it also a little bit bigger, so it's easier to see it. Just drag in the corner. And then you <coughs> can set it either to off, on, or you can also change the text uh, to false or true like this, so now it's true, now it's false, yes. then you can use this one to, to switch the digital output channel on, on the DAC device. And then we can also create a stop button here. So this will basically be our graphical user interface. And then <coughs> we just create a basic while loop like this and then we connect the stop button to the while loop condition meaning in the while loop stops when you click on the stop button then we need to have a timer here you have different timers you can choose between this is the basic one we will just specify number of milliseconds that you want to wait in each uh, iteration inside the while loop so i just specify 100 or something and then we need to use um, the duck mx palette which you see here which you find here if you right click on the block diagram select measurement io and ni duck mx then this um, duck mx palette will pop up and then you can just pin it like this and then we start by using this duck assistant you can also use the lower level uh, functions in order to create the same but the easiest way is to use this duck assistant so then i just select this one then it takes some time to to configure it and then we have the following options you can choose between acquire signals or generate signals so now we are going to create a digital output signal then we need to select generate signal click on the plus and digital output and then select line output and then you will get an overview of all the digital channels on your uh, duck device typically it's divided into port so here we have port 0 that comes from line 0 to 
7 and port 1 that goes from 0 to 3. But I just select the first one, port 0, line 1, and then click finish. Then you got this one with some uh, settings. Here you just use the default settings, click OK. And then it takes some time to, to, to build that uh, DAC assistant and then you are soon ready to start uh, creating the rest of your application. So then, <coughs> more or less now, you should uh, wire this uh, switch, true false, to your DAC assistant on the data input. So let's try to do that. But you see, uh, we get some error there because this one, this is a Boolean scalar, while this data input, if I just right click here, create, uh, control, it requires an array of uh, uh, Boolean. So the way to fix this is to just use one of the functions in the array palette. So I just right click here, select array, and then this build array is very handy to use. I just select this one and also show the label like this. And then basically what this do is just converting this uh, scalar value to a uh, to an array like this. So now we can wire uh, this slider to the data input by using this build array like this. So basically uh, that's it. So now we should be ready to start creating uh, or running our application. So now, now it's false my multimeter when I turn it on, which is connected to this specific channel we have set up shows zero voltage when I click to true my multimeter shows 5 voltage. Clicking back to false, no, it shows again 0 voltage and true 5 voltage. So basically false is the same as 0 voltage on the output of this uh, digital channel and true is the same as 5 voltage on the output of this digital channel. We can also easily extend our application to to control multiple digital output channels. So different ways to do it. I will show you the, this first example where you can just make a copy like this. So assuming now you want to control four different digital output channels, then we have from one uh, to four like this. And this can either be uh, true or false. Then this can be true, this can be true, uh, sorry, this can be false, so this can be true, false, true, like this. And now we just go to the block diagram and then just rearrange them like this in the correct order. I can use the alignment tool like this. And then from this build array, we can just wire the first one. And then we can just drag it. So it has four inputs like this. And then we just wire them like this for each of the switches that we have used. this and now we need also to make some changes here uh, easiest way is basically just to delete this one create a new one and do it from scratch and then we select general signals digital output line output and then we just hold our uh, shift key in in inside while we click with our mouse and select the proper number of channels so we since you have four switches we want to control four different output channel, uh, digital output channels. Then we select from zero to three, or of course we could also change, uh, select some some of the others. Click OK or finish. So now you see here in the list we have four four elements. But basically these are the default settings. You just click OK and then wait a few seconds. And now we can just wire the output of this build array directly to the. Uh, data input on this DAC assistant. 
And now, assuming we have uh, four multimeters, uh, uh, one multimeter connected to this one, one multimeter connected to this one, etc. Then we would see here now that in this case all four uh, digital output channels should now show 5 voltage. No, they should all show zero voltage. No, this should so show uh, zero voltage, 5 voltage, 5 voltage, zero voltage, etc. So then you can easily control one or more digital output channels like this. Another alternative uh, is to use uh, an array here on the front panel. So I just remove those and then select data containers and array. And then you can just drag this one into the array like this and then you can drag the array like this. So assuming now we want to have one, two, three, four like this. Then I don't need to have this build array. So I just delete this part of the code. And now since this is an array, I can wire this one directly to the data input like this and then run it and then application would work in the same manner like this and that's how we uh, create multiple digital output channels in uh, in your lab program here you see a practical example how we can use these digital output pins on our uh, duct device or io module we can control uh, some leds so here i have use the first digital output pin and wire it on my breadboard and on the breadboard I have a LED and a resistor I need to use the resistor in order to limit the current that flows through the circuit but basically the circuit goes from the digital output channel through the LED and then through the resistor and then back to the ground pin on, on the duct device so basically now if you go back to LabVIEW and use the same basic lab application we created, we can easily switch uh, the LED either on or off uh, from our lab program. So here is our uh, original uh, digital output example where we have this uh, switch, true false, which you can use in, uh, when we have connected this LED to the, to the digital output. So basically we can just, so now the LED is off on my breadboard and I click this to true, the LED will be on. And you can of course also change it here to change the label to LED and then instead of true we can set on and then it's false we can set it to off like this. So now basically this is a basic application that controls a LED that you have wired to, uh, on the digital output channel on, on, on your duct device. So now I turn the LED on, off on, off, etc. And then you can easily control more LEDs by just copy more of these and then just wire them to the DAC assistant and select the proper channels that you want to use here. So in uh, this tutorial I was uh, showing how to use the digital output pins on the DAC or IO modules in uh, LabVIEW. While in other uh, tutorials in the same series I will show how to use the other options as well as uh, analog output, analog input and digital input. That's all for now, so thank you and goodbye.